All right, we're back with the Consumer Advocate Podcast, episode three, Things Are Flying. All right, in number three, I want to go over call blocking apps. What are they and why I think they're dumb and you shouldn't use them. And if you are using them, it's easy. You can just stop. But the good news is, is that you might actually have some good um, evidence we can use later on and hopefully you can still benefit from this. All right. So what is a call blocking app? That's an app or an application that you put on your phone and when a certain number calls, you can have the phone identify it and unblock it. Now, it doesn't show the other person the calls being blocked, it just stops the phone from ringing. So why do I have a problem with you stopping the phone from ringing? And that's because I want you to answer the phone. Okay, here's here's what's going on. Wait, first of all, if you're blocking the call and it's from your ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend, that's fine. That's a great purpose. You know, they never deserved you in the first place. But if it's a strange number, especially an out-of-state number or an 800 number, and then called you more than once and you've already taken the time to block it, that means that that's a business. And when a business is calling you, they might be using a robo dollar. So you want to make sure that you understand what a robo dollar is and know what's going on because if you know the rules then you can make some money here and not have them harass you anymore so we've talked about this in episode one and two of the podcast but just briefly so if you answer that phone you take off the block and you answer the phone and they're looking for steve and you're not steve then if they're using this robo dollar type of technology which they almost all are then the second call on is illegal. So every call they called after the first one looking for Steve is illegal. You don't have to answer those calls, but it's best to know who they're calling about and who they're calling for. So if they're calling Steve and they're from Wells Fargo, you know Wells Fargo is the caller and that helps me a lot, help you a lot. And so that is the reason why you wanna stop the call block. We wanna answer the phone call. But let's say that you are Steve and they're calling for Steve, what the hell? You know what do you do well you have to answer the general questions that we talked about in the prior in the prior uh, podcast and that's number one did you when you did business with them did you give them your cell phone number and if you did you're still there's still an opportunity here for you did you ever ask them not to call you after they started calling you because if you did give them your cell phone number, they've got the right to call you using this robo dialer if that's the type of permission you gave them. But at any point in time, the 11th Circuit is very clear on this. The court says that any point in time, you can take away that authority. So if they've ever called you, you picked up the phone and said, hey, stop calling. You know, the next call is illegal. Now, if you haven't done that yet, um, and you did give them permission, and they're calling you and you have not taken it away it's very easy just pick up the phone be polite come on we're all human beings identify yourself as Steve and then say hey um, I appreciate you calling me but I can't afford to pay you at this time stop calling me have a nice day and hang up the phone it's as easy as that if they call you back then those phone calls will be legal if they're using a robo dollar and guys that's it that's why you should turn off the call blocking apps identify who's calling and that way notify your consumer attorney call me if you're in Georgia and we will help you identify the complete number of wrong calls and then use the federal law called the Telephone Consumer Protection Act and we talked about this a lot in the prior podcast we will get you $500 or more per illegal phone call it's as easy as that turn off those call blocking apps let's shut down this call blocking you know harassment these guys are doing let's run them out of georgia it's joseph mcclellan i wish you all the best bye-bye